Greetings Hype Meats, my name is Hyper Primes, and welcome back to another episode of Hype Meats Food Reviews. Now, I was doing the April stuff, but sometimes I kinda just want to do something in between, because, you know, by the time I'm recording this, what I have yet to upload, I think, is the Cadbury Mini Eggs, Cadbury Kelmo Eggs, and the Cadbury Normal Cream Eggs. Big ones. But, I honestly wanted to get this just in between there, because we're basically halfway done with it. So, it'll be a little checkpoint thing, and my mother got this, because, actually it was a six pack, because I've never seen this before. And also, it looks really interesting, and I've actually heard some stuff about it. So, we have Mountain Dew, Baja Blast, or Baja Blast, I think it's Baja, I think the uh, J is supposed to be silent of what I know. I'm going to say, first of all, part of the popular Mountain Dew brand, and also, this is a Taco Bell original. So apparently this originated from the popular restaurant known as Taco Bell. If you want me to do a food review of anything from Taco Bell, I don't know, I might do it anyway. Uh, but I can instantly tell, first of all, color-wise, Mountain Dew, like, let's talk about the original Mountain Dew, which, I don't know, maybe I'll do in the future just so I can do like a, you know, I've drunk that before, but maybe I could just do some recap on it. The classic Mountain Dew has this, like, bright lime green, like, color. Like, some form of an emerald green. This, however, has more of, like, I don't know what you call, like, a cyan? I wouldn't say much more cyan, like a malachite green. Which it kind of verges of being either green or blue. If you told me it was green, I would agree with you. If you told me it was blue, I would also agree with you. I mean, just check out that color. That, that is solid color. That is probably going to mess up the camera really bad. I really hope it's still focused. I could probably go check, but I don't want to mess it up. Anyway, hopefully it'll just refocus. But anyway, 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 anyway. Mountain Dew Baja Blast with text below saying, Dew, copyright symbol, I guess, with a blast of natural and artificial tropical lime flavor. So right now, what we know from this is that it is lime. And I think Mountain Dew usually has like a green top, and this one has an interesting black with text on the top that says, uh, what does it say? Wait, bottled by Clatch? Oh, I have no, I mean, I have terrible eyesight. Bottled by Clatch's Ditch Corp Corporation Company Incorporated. To zero, NY, 13039. That's what the bottle cap says. Okay, there's also some other things that we have to read about this being uh, not only do they have one big logo instead of like some sort of kind of just posting their logo twice or maybe I'm thinking of something else. I'm probably thinking of something else. Maybe I'm thinking of Pringles. Yeah, that's definitely what I'm thinking about. But on the back, they got the nutrition facts. That's a little barcode. We gotta read this off to you just so you can get your information. So nutrition facts. The serving size is one whole bottle, so if you want to have a decent meal, this could be counting as your serving size. So, we don't really need to separate all the serving sizes by like, here's the serving size by one bottle and here's the serving, by, serving size by six. The amount per serving, which this contains, 230 calories. The total fat is 0 G. The sodium is 80 mg with 3%. The total carbohydrates is 62G, 23%. The total cigar- the cigars, not cigarettes. The total sugars are 62, aka 62G, 23%. That doesn't even say 22%, I'm sorry, I was looking back, no. Man, I'm really messed, it just says the 62G. Includes 62 added sugars at a total of 124%. I, I, I feel like if you cut soda out of your diet, you can lose weight incredibly fast. Zero protein. Not a significant source of other nutrients. And it says star percent DV equals percent daily value. And there's also a bunch of ingredients saying carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, natural and artificial flavor, citric acid, or citric acid, uh, sodium Ben's date. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Preserves freshness. Oh, okay, cool. So it just stays fresh. Uh, caffeine, gum arabic, sodium citrate, calcium disodium EDTA to protect flavor, uh, sucrose acetate, 
Uh, Ice Ob, you try, right? And Yellow 5, Blue 1. I have no idea what that is. And it says at the bottom here, Mountain Dew Baja Blast. And it says at the side, Bottle under the authority of PepsiCo Inc. Purchase NY10577. Of course, Mountain Dew is also produced by the people who make Pepsi. Not Coca-Cola. Caffeine content, 81mg slash 16.9FLOZ. We are here to help Mountain Dew, no, MountainDew.com or 800-433-2652. Please recycle. And a bunch of words that uh, I don't think make much relevance, but uh, if you want me to read them, me-vt-ct-ma-ny-1a-hi-5 cent sign. <laughs> M-I-D-R, 10 cents. And then last thing you have the barcode. So, I literally just talked about everything that's on the bottle. And now I should really just get into the drink itself. Because, you know... Wait, okay, hold on. Every soda has a fizz, so let's hear this. This has not been opened. This is fresh. Right when I cracked that open, the lime smell just poured out. Like, it literally already invaded my nose. Maybe this soda is a lot more powerful than I think. Alright, slowly open. This is fresh. But also the thing with it being fresh, there's nothing on the inside, by the way. The thing about it being fresh, that means it hasn't been refrigerated. I am just basing this off its main flavor by itself. No refrigeration, no ice cubes, no, no being warm. Uh, it's just room temperature, basically. So... Quick sniff. That, that is powerful. I would not be surprised if this started like. This would be really sour. Hopefully, there's enough. Well, hopefully, just like hopefully, it's just like a little limeade. You know, like it has a bunch of sugars in it with a dash of lime. It would just be like this nice sugary drink. But we have to get into it anyway. So let's do this. First sip, the foam, like the fuzz, the fizziness of the drink, like filled my mouth for a quick minute, but it actually didn't feel that fizzy to the throat. It actually felt really relaxing. And also, the sour flavor wasn't that powerful. In fact, if you told me that it did taste like lime, it definitely tastes like lime. <clears throat> like, this is actually really good. I'll go for another sip just in case, but I think I'm going to try and keep it in my mouth, just to be certain. Got to clear my throat. Make sure nothing's uh, blocking the taste. That's definitely like a limeade. I was basically correct. It's basically if you took lemonade, but you swapped the lemons with lime, and then you added a nice amount of sugar so that it wasn't so sour. It just tasted like a nice sugary beverage that had doses of lime dripped in it, which actually kind of fits. And coming from Taco Bell being an original, I should go there more because this Baja Blast actually tastes really good. So I know it kind of seems like, man, I just talked about a lot of the bottle and uh, not much of the drink, but to be honest, this is the first liquid food review, might I add, if you're not including ice cream that's melted from the Friendlies one. This is the first food review that I've done of a liquid. So it's not as easy to, you know, talk about. There's a car. It's not as easy to talk about as a food, because with a food like a burger, you can talk about whatever's on it, like lettuce, the bread, the burger itself, tomato, onion, ketchup, mustard, whatever's on it. This you can only talk about the drink. So I know it's really basic, but you just gotta admit, take my word for it, this is a good drink. I'm gonna say, it. I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10 because everything about it is like you could solidly pick this up Even if you made this like a cool drink like you put it in the fridge for just a couple hours or maybe even minutes Maybe a couple minutes if you put it in the freezer then you take it back out you can take a sweat It would taste really good And that's just because there's really no complications I could talk about it Like it says everything on the bottle, you know nutrition fact It has a nice layout and the color looks honestly soothing to the eye the taste it's not too fizzy where it basically kind of makes you struggle to swallow it 
the taste tastes like lime, new like mixed with sugar, and makes this nice limeade, you know, soda. And being a Taco Bell original, this would be really good. I guess my only flaw with it is that I just wish that they sell they just please sell this in more places. But I'm pretty sure they're now doing it because of the fact that my mother picked this up at a store. So maybe they're actually now doing this at more places instead of just Taco Bell. So I should definitely go to Taco Bell more. That's the moral of the story. If you want to go get this, purchase it. But you can mainly get these at Taco Bell. At least maybe by some like soda cup standard. Instead of a bottle. <laughs> Made me burp. And that's how you know it's still fizzy. But the fizz wasn't strong enough to burn my throat. So, that was Mountain Dew Baja Blast. I personally enjoyed it. But if you have something else to say about it, then why not leave it in the comment section below? Like I said, it's a 10 out of 10. But, anyway. Maybe I should stop doing ratings. Because maybe it shouldn't be how I personally judge it. Maybe just uh, how I tell everything to you in general. But maybe that's just like a self-recommendation. So you don't have to follow my recommendation. This is mainly what my opinion just states about this. But anyway, if you did enjoy this video, then please be sure to leave a like on the video and also share it with your friends for more uh, Hype Needs Food Review content. And if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel? And if you haven't yet, or you're looking forward to, please be sure to hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to receive all my notifications on this YouTube channel in the near future. But above all else, I will see you, Entities and Guardians, in the next video. Hail the Hype Needs!